Several months ago, three of our grandsons were visiting, and one morning the five-year-old asked if he could borrow my iPad. I was consumed with the task in the kitchen without really thinking. I said, sure. Probably rather irresponsible on my part, but as I reflect on it now, but that's what I did. And as a grandparent, what are you going to do? He took the iPad and went out to the back deck. A few moments later, I heard laughter coming from his direction. It was not just a little laugh, but a loud belly laugh. You know, the kind that makes you lose your breath. Curious, I joined him on the deck, and in a matter of seconds, I too was laughing so hard I hurt. It didn't take long for his older brothers to join us, and there we were, the four of us engulfed with laughter as we watched funny videos of animals. The breakfast sweet rolls burned, but no one cared. <laughs> what a wonderful way to start the day. Check out the new series, Hymns of Hope, on Praise and Harmony TV today. In this six-part series, Jeff Walling takes us on a journey through studying the Psalms and how they integrate with our modern worship. Not about the songs that were written maybe in the last hundred years or even in the last thousand years. No, we're going to reach back more than 2,000 years to Israel's hymnal, their hymnal of hope. Enjoy timeless stories about how we got some of our most beloved songs. When finally the telegram came through, and it's a famous one, it just had two words on it. The words came from Horatio Spafford's wife. And the two words were, saved, alone. And sing along with the praise and harmony singers. Check out Hymns of Hope on Praise and Harmony TV today.